morning, everyone. Uh, Pioneer, thank you very much uh, for the kind invitation. My name is Dario Latore, and I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of Jumia Global. Jumia Global is the cross-border e-commerce business division of Jumia. We are the African marketplace present in 11 countries in Africa. And today I'm going to uh, introduce Africa, the, the market, and how can you actually reach Africa thanks to Jumia and Pioneer. So um, brief agenda, I am going to introduce our group. Uh, what is the potential of the African market? What is Jumia's ecosystem that has been established in our 10 years uh, of being in Africa, our footprint, and eventually how can we collaborate and work together? And um, finally, uh, if you wish to join us, uh, how can you actually create an account? How can we help you? Uh, to be a seller of Jumia. Jumia was founded in 2012 in uh, Lagos, Nigeria, the, 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 the economic capital of the largest uh, country uh, in Africa. And in the same year, we also launched in uh, three other major countries like Morocco, Egypt, and South Africa. Um, remarkable milestones of our journey uh, were uh, in 2017, uh, we actually have launched Jumia Pay. And, uh, uh, and this year, we already have started the operation of cross-border uh, from China, from Shenzhen, from In 2019, change, and uh, we have um, other like big investors like MasterCard has joined uh, the, 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 invest, the, the investing pool of the company. And uh, we have launched another part of the company, which is Junior Advertising, which allows brands and companies to advertise in Africa. In 2020, uh, we actually uh, have established new tax center in Cairo, uh, together with our uh, tax center that we have in Portugal. And uh, the company has started to invest massively into the in technology. In 2021, uh, the, uh, the cross-border uh, division has expanded from uh, Dubai and Turkey as well, and many more other sourcing uh, areas will actually uh, come uh, from the next year in 2022. So this is just some pictures of um, our uh, ceremony, ring the bell ceremony of uh, April uh, 2019. So what is the market potential and the opportunity of Africa? Actually, Africa uh, is, uh, is a massive uh, market. Uh, the continent has more than 50 countries uh, and the population uh, is actually uh, similar to the size of India uh, and China. Uh, so above uh, 1.3 billion and uh, the internet users across the, the, the entire continent is above half a billion. And uh, the texture of the business uh, is actually very fragmented uh, locally. Um, there are multiple uh, small and medium enterprises and merchants uh, on the grounds in the countries. And uh, there are few very large conglomerates uh, based uh, in the continent. The, um, the spending starts to be uh, the household spendings uh, reached three uh, reached four trillion, and this uh, is in constant evolution and growth. The economic development development is uh, about six percent of real GDP growth uh, year over year, uh, which is uh, which is uh, expected to be sustained in the next decades and even accelerate. The population of Africa is uh, very young and the median age is below 20 years. So this gives um, a great opportunity for internet companies and marketplaces mm -hmm. uh, like Jumia to address potential customers and reach them as the first consumers. So usually young people are much uh, more prone to, to um, explore new uh, channels, new purchasing uh, channels and, uh, and retailers. So, um, this is a great advantage and a great opportunity. The, uh, the mobile internet penetration has uh, surpassed the 70%. And uh, 
And actually, as of today, uh, majority of the transaction on Junia already up, up and through the applications. So uh, this, is a, this is a very important uh, uh, data point that uh, you may not expect. Um, so we are tapping in a uh, uh, lot of customers that uh, may not have uh, bought uh, in the retail store, but for convenience, they will see that their first purchases will happen on Junia. So in which countries are, are, are we? And uh, if you're not fully familiar uh, with the African uh, continent, uh, here we have a map to, to make things clearer. So uh, Africa is a very diverse continent and um, uh, we can separate in different uh, macro areas, right? In the North, we have uh, Egypt, uh, Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia that are uh, definitely very important markets. Uh, then we have the other block on the West Africa, which uh, has Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Senegal. And then on the East part of Africa, we have Kenya, Uganda, and then in the South, South Africa. So these are the 11 markets where uh, Jumia is actually present with uh, more than 5,000 employees on the ground. And actually these countries represent about 600 million of the population. So about half or a bit less than half of the full population of the continent. However, if we look at it in a perspective on the opportunity, these 11 countries cover more than 70% of the GDP of the entire continent and uh, actually 70%, approximately 70% 70% of the uh, internet users uh, spread around the continent. So this makes Jumia a natural partner for brands or sellers that they actually want to reach economies of scale and they actually want to enter in Africa as a whole, concept, as a whole continent with a, not a, the same exact strategy because of course each country has differences and uh, we will be able to support you to guide and give you more knowledge on understanding what markets may fit best your products, but definitely we will be one gateway to reach the entire continent. Uh, in terms of the, of the uh, ecosystem that we have built in almost 10 years of business, uh, we have different very important building blocks. For sure, at the center, there is the marketplace that is where you sell the products. And the marketplace is actually built of brands that are international uh, brands and Chinese brands or uh, European American brands, brands that are uh, the most common and uh, uh, very successful. These are uh, one big part and they are mainly featured on our junior mall, which is the section on the website that is fully dedicated on brands. Then we have uh, merchants and sellers that can be local. So this means that they have local entities and they are registered in the local countries where we operate. And then we have cross-border sellers. So now today we're talking about the opportunity of being a cross-border seller based outside the African continent and arriving into uh, and to, to sell into the African continent. So um, then other two very important building blocks that, uh, that we have built to make the ecosystem more friendly for both our customers and, our, and um, our vendors is the logistics. We have a company which is called Junior Services, which uh, is uh, in charge of last mile deliveries and is in charge of um, fulfillment and warehousing. So it means that uh, uh, in each of the country we operate in, we have our own fleets of, um, of uh, uh, delivery uh, agents. And we have um, warehousing that uh, we can uh, use to support our cross-border sellers business. Another important part is uh, uh, Jumia Pay, which is actually um, which is actually our payment company. Uh, so it will allow uh, the uh, customers to uh, to uh, process digital payment in a very safe and secure manner. Um, so. This ecosystem uh, definitely gives you access to uh, very fast growing 
and large uh, consumer base. And uh, uh, of course, we have data regarding uh, the, uh, the, 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 the most sold products. We have data regarding uh, what works, what sells into each marketplace. And uh, we can help brands uh, to target the right customer. We can help the brands uh, to build a market share in Africa, uh, in the African continent. So um, this is the entire, uh, the entire environment. We will use one app, which is the app on the marketplace. And uh, the, the other part of the business will be working together to support and have a better experience of our customers. In terms of sales volume, uh, the, uh, this is a, a quick picture in terms of items uh, in, the, in the year of 2020. Um, you, we can see that uh, in terms of items, the fashion is one of our major categories, uh, together with uh, three uh, fast growing categories that are uh, beauty and perfumes, FMCG, home and living categories that have grown uh, dramatically the year 2020, um, also helped uh, due, to the, due to the pandemic uh, of COVID-19. Electronics and phones are still definitely a very important uh, category in our platforms, especially from a, uh, from a GMV perspective. Uh, but in terms of items, as you can see here, uh, fashion, home and living categories, may be very interesting categories uh, to start a business um, as well. So uh, how do we operate? What are the business models? Uh, as of today, uh, as I mentioned, there are 11 markets where Junia is. And uh, under a Junia global perspective, that means the cross-border division, we can allow and we can enable Indian sellers uh, and worldwide sellers to uh, reach nine countries. These nice countries are all the countries that I mentioned with the exception of Algeria and Tunisia. Um, you can still have business in these countries if you want, but for these two countries, it's required that you have a locally established entities. Rather, for the other uh, nine markets, as of today, you are not required uh, as a must to have a registered entity into the country, but uh, is it sufficient to have, for example, an entity registered in the India or in another country? For the dropshipping business model, uh, this is something that uh, we are planning and it, it, uh, you need to stay tuned for 2022 uh, because we will open uh, new origins. So let's get a bit more in the detail of what are these business models. So the FBJ model, which is uh, uh, fulfilled by Jumia, uh, is already ready, and uh, uh, you can start uh, you can start selling uh, whenever you want, whenever you feel that you're ready. And under this business model, you as a vendor will be responsible for the full transportation, including the custom clearance in the country of destination. So you will be uh, getting an account and you will be submitting a request to send products to our warehouse. We will uh, approve this request and then you will send uh, these items to our warehouse. Then these items will be stored in our uh, warehouses in each of the countries. And you do not need to start having business with all the countries. You can choose one, two, or three countries where uh, you believe or we believe together uh, with our uh, key account here, that um, this country fits the best your mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. And there, wherever there is a, a better fit, uh, we should be starting to develop uh, the business from there. Then the items are stored in the country or countries that, uh, uh, that you want to sell in. And then wherever there is an order, um, we will be able to fulfill the order and send it to the customer. The advantage of this, uh, this model is definitely that uh, the items will be able to reach the customer very, uh, very fast, uh, normally within one to three business days, depending on the tier of the city. Uh, and the cash on delivery will be available. 
Uh, cash on delivery is, is uh, a usage is actually depending country, country, uh, country to country, and is actually dropping uh, over time thanks to the introduction of uh, Jumia Pay. So uh, Jumia offers still this service and it's still an advantage, but, uh, um, but actually uh, actually majority of the customers will purchase, uh, will purchase on uh, prepayment, especially in the biggest countries. The, uh, the, the, the shipment to the warehouse, as mentioned, will be, uh, will be a responsibility of you as a vendor. And uh, what Jumia will charge is a sales, is a sales uh, commission fee. And there will be some inbounding and storage fees uh, that will be based on the category of the items that you will be storing. In terms of, of uh, drop shipping, the drop shipping uh, as of today with origin uh, of India is not yet open, uh, but uh, you need to stay tuned for 2022. Uh, the origins uh, that are open as of today are um, China, Hong Kong, including Hong Kong, um, Turkey, Dubai, uh, and soon uh, Spain. But uh, 2022 uh, will be a year where we will open uh, more origin points. So please, um, please stay tuned with us. Few words on this business model. Um, the, in this case, whenever we will set up a fulfillment center in India, uh, we will provide the location of, uh, of this fulfillment center. And then uh, your, you will have to have created your products on our system. Then uh, you keep the stock at your warehouse uh, in India. And then whenever there is an order, you need to pick, pack, and then give this item to our logistic partner uh, within three working days. Then in this case, Jumia will be responsible for the full transportation uh, to the end customer. In this case, uh, there are some shipping fees that uh, uh, that are uh, that will be charged to bring the items from uh, India to uh, to the African country. And in this case, cash on delivery will not be available. But um, let's move on. So, how can we get it started? Especially for you that, uh, especially if you are already selling on other platforms on uh, or overseas warehouse. Uh, business model that could be, for example, the, Af the Amazon FBA business model. Our model is very similar, so uh, it would be uh, very easy for you uh, to, to join Jumia and uh, actually access the African market. So what are the qualifications? Uh, you need to have a business license, so we cannot accept uh, uh, individual uh, individual uh, applications, but you need to have a company registered uh, in India or eventually in other countries. You must have a Payoneer Enterprise account linked to this uh, en uh, to this uh, enterprise, and uh, uh, Payoneer for Jumia is the sole and um, exclusive partner for uh, international remittances. So Payoneer will support the payments on a, a biweekly uh, bi weekly basis. So every two weeks, uh, we, uh, we will uh, wire the money through the Payoneer account, which is linked uh, to your Jumia account. And we will be uh, remitting money in US dollars at the predetermined rate. Because actually when, uh, each of our websites in the countries will be listing products price in the local currency. And uh, we will give you every month fixed exchange rates from the local currency in Africa to the US dollars. Then in this case, you will not have a risk on the currency because this risk will be borrowed by Jumia. So joining us, it's free and there are no uh, joining fees or deposits required. And to keep the account open, uh, there is uh, no monthly fee. Then I can, uh, I can link you. Uh, you are, will be able to access uh, our uh, Jumia University, uh, where you have all the training and details for uh, joining Jumia and um, instructions on uh, how to operate the account and all our policies. Then uh, there was going to be a link 
where you can register, you can submit uh, your information as a seller and uh, where the goods are, what are your main categories and uh, um, your contact details. And then uh, one, uh, one person in my team, one person in, uh, in Jumia's team will reach out to you uh, and address uh, all the questions that you may have and, um, and create an account uh, create an account on Jumia so you can start selling and catch this fantastic opportunity. Thank you very much uh, for, for your attention, your time today. Uh, I wish that uh, you are enjoying this uh, uh, great event organized by Bayonia. Thank you.